welcome to a Lamoda shoe haul. Now, uh, I'm ridiculously excited about today's video. 2020 hasn't really been the year of the shoe for me, but finally, behind me here is an enormous box of brand new shoes that I will hopefully be walking into 2021. <laughs> Things are starting to reopen in Australia. Life is returning back to some semblance of normal. I think I can finally retire my track pants and I can wear some interesting and quirky outfits out and about. And the shoes that I will be wearing will be from Lamoda. Now, if you don't know Lamoda as a brand, they are a shoe company based in the UK. They make edgy, awesome, Instagrammable shoes, you know, like the chunky shoes, shoes you'd wear to raves, shoes you'd wear to impress young kids on TikTok. I've worked with Lamoda once before, and uh, that was last year while I was in Japan. They sponsored that video, and they are sponsoring today's video too, which is very, very exciting for me, because as a creator, there's nothing I enjoy more than working with brands that I truly, genuinely love and I adore all the shoes on Lamoda's website. Not only are they cruelty free vegan, the shoes are super stylish, they're very affordable, especially for what you get. That was something that I noticed the first time that I worked with them. I received the shoes and I was so impressed. I couldn't believe that the quality was that good and the price was that cheap. So what they did this time, they sent me their catalog and they asked me to pick out a bunch of shoes that I wanted to show. They wanted me to post this video in time for the Black Friday sales. Their Black Friday sale has already started and the entire website is 30 to 75% off everything right now. So it's a perfect opportunity to buy a new pair of uh, Insta baddie shoes if you're interested. And uh, let me tell you, after you see what's in this box, you will in fact be interested. Now I picked out these shoes a little while ago and it was like 3 a.m when I chose them and I don't entirely remember everything I chose. I just remember I was really, really excited. And I also remember that some of the things were like really weird. Weird in a good way, obviously, but just, just like weird, you know, the sort of shoes that you're going to be walking around and like people are going to stop you and say either I like your shoes or they're going to ask where you got them. Or if you're like me, people are going to stand behind you in line and take pictures of your feet. <laughs> Yes, that happened to me last time I wore out a pair of Lamoda shoes. The girl in the line behind me at Macca's was taking photos of my boots. So anyway, let's get into this box and have a little look at what they've sent me. Now, there's already a hole in this box. I, I don't know if that happened during transport. I don't know if uh, the authorities did that. Maybe there was too much swag inside the box and they needed to puncture it to relieve some of the pressure. Aha! All right. Look. Box number one. These are the Candy Floss Love platform boots. Now for size, uh, for anyone that's interested, I wear an Australian size nine, which is a European size 40, which I believe is a UK size seven. Now, last time I worked with Lamoda, I found that their sizing was perfect. I didn't have to size up, didn't have to size down. I got my size and I was very happy. So let's have a little look. Oh, I see love hearts. Sorry, sorry, it's just, oh, it's so good. Ooh. Archie, look, what do you think? This is a boot. Boot. Would you like to see? No? Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Archie is just a little bit frightened of the shoes. He's not normally afraid of shoes, but I guess they're just so cool that they're terrifying. So you can go hang out with dad, okay? Where it's nice and safe, away from the shoes. I'll tell you something interesting, guys. So when I picked out the shoes, when Lamoda asked me which shoes do you want, they actually sent me like a catalogue. And the shoes themselves, they were all actually just drawings. They weren't pictures. They were like the, I guess, the concept drawings. So I actually picked all of these shoes based on the digital images. And like, I couldn't have imagined that the real thing would be this nice. These boots are gorgeous. I love the height of them. They sit at a really nice height on the leg, just under the knee. The boot is so thick and chunky. You can jump up and down, you can run, do jumping jacks, make TikToks. The love heart itself is kind of like a, oh, I don't know how to describe this, like a felt kind of material. And when you touch it, it's squishy. Like it's squishy, guys. You can just squish it and it's really satisfying. I feel like these boots are the perfect combination of like pastel and 
mean, I wouldn't say goth, but you know, there's a lot of people out there that really love pastel colors, but they don't want to wear them. Or there's a lot of people that love wearing black, but they also really, really love pink. You know, deep down inside, they love pink, but they don't want to wear it. So shoes like this are perfect for people like that. I love styling boots like this with a high-waisted skirt and a turtleneck. It's my favorite sort of look. It's so easy. It looks well put together, but it's hardly any effort at all. Boots, skirt, turtleneck. Like, it doesn't get any easier than that. Ugh, off to such a good start. <laughs> Alex, why did you need your third nose job? I kicked myself in the nose with a go-go boot. Anyway, off to a great start. I'm very, very eager for the next pair. Okie dokie. Here we have, ah, okay. The, the nanny, nanny the f Oh my God, guys, look at this. Sorry, I'm too busy like flopping it around to get you to look, let me just hold still. Look at this. Look at this boot. Are, are you, are you seeing, are you seeing this? Are you, are you seeing this heel? Look at this heel. I didn't think it would actually be that cool. Like, ah, this is sick. I'm not entirely sure how to style these boots. These are the swiveling around elastic platform boots. I don't really have very many boots that are this height. I kind of would feel too awkward wearing these with a short skirt. I, I think it would be disproportionate and weird. I feel like these would be great with a, a like flared pants, but it's got this really nice sort of flame looking detail down here and it would be a shame to cover that up. I guess I could wear like slightly cropped pants. I really, I don't know. If you have style suggestions for boots of this height, please let me know. But these are so cool. Look, the toe is pointed. I, I love a pointed heel. I used to hate pointed heels because I thought it looked too witchy, but then I discovered there's nothing wrong with being witchy. It's spooky and fun. And pointed heels make me feel powerful. So we have a very, very pointy toe. We have, I don't even know how to describe the shape of this. How would you describe that? A tapered square? Triangle? I don't know, but it's incredible. I'm in love. I thought they were my favorites, but then I pulled these out and I think that these may now be my favorites. And I have a slight suspicion that every time I pull a new shoe out of this box, I'm going to say it's my favorite. Please don't play a drinking game where you take a shot every time I say something's my favorite, unless it's a shot of wheatgrass juice because I like to promote health and wellness on my channel. Next, oh, oh I see patent leather. That's not leather because it's vegan. Whoa, these are cool. Wow. These are the entitled extreme platform heels. This style, looks incredible with a pair of white socks. You can't deny it. It's like a uh, Wednesday Adams grown up and she's on TikTok now. The double strap is uh, not only functional in terms of keeping your foot nice and snug in the shoe, but it's also super stylish because double the buckle, double the fun. The hardware on these shoes, it's really nice, especially for the price. The hardware feels excellent. It has little spikes down the back. Now these spikes are blunt. I'm sorry to anyone that was looking to protect themselves and deal some damage. Your attack stats may not be very high when you're wearing these spiky boots, but you will roll a 20 every time for style. You know, part of the brief from Lamoda as far as the sponsorship was concerned was that they wanted me to tell you guys uh, what I thought of the shoes, obviously, and how I would style them. I don't want to be basic and say the same thing every time, but I am apologetically me on this channel. I am once again telling you I would wear this with a high-waisted mini skirt and a turtleneck. These are very, very heavy. They have really nice grip on the bottom. When I was in Japan wearing shoes from Lamoda last time, I wore the shoes around for days and days and days. They were super comfortable, even though they're very, very tall. I was able to run around in train stations, up and down, walking all day, and I still felt comfortable. They have great grip on the bottom, and the incline on the heel itself is not that steep. The, the platform itself sort of helps to compensate, and it, it means that your foot isn't really, really inclined like that. So they're very comfortable. You can wear them for long periods of time. You get that height that you so desire and none of the pain that comes with it. All right, there's obviously a theme developing here. I'm sure people are saying, what happened to Pretty Pastel, please? She's turned into Pretty Punk, please? Oh, <laughs> okay, all right. Guys, be gentle in the comments section. I know most of you are not going to like these. But look, just play along and be a good sport and tell me how much you love them. 
<laughs> because like, you know, look, you know what I was saying about the shoes from Lamoda being like odd and eye catching. These are called Binding Nemesis Chunky Biker Boots. So these were in fact the last thing that I added to my uh, my cart, I suppose you'd say. These are the last thing on the list that I sent to Lamoda because I kept looking at them on the brochure and I kept thinking, look, they're really ugly and I don't want them. What is that? Can you hear that? Someone is chainsawing down a tree in my neighbor's backyard. Good, maybe I will put on these stomping boots and go out and kick the dude in the head. That's the power that I feel wearing these shoes. I feel like I can stomp on over to my neighbor's place and yell at him for using his chainsaw while I'm trying to film a video. These shoes make me feel powerful. They look like the shoes themselves would eat someone alive. They look like something that would be hiding under a bed in the Harry Potter universe. Perhaps you need to just stroke them down the spine to calm them down. So obviously the most noticeable thing about these shoes is this crazy thing going on here. Like this, uh, how do you even explain this? This is, the soul is bamboozling. Aside from the obvious unusual teeth looking things on the bottom of the shoe, there's also double chains and there's even a sword hanging off them. Like, does it get any cooler? I would take a stab in the dark and say nay. Now these bad boys, they zip up and down. They kind of taper in around the ankle area. So they do have a really interesting shape. To me, these look like they were made to go with anything tartan. As far as style goes, I just want to put on red and black and head out to a five finger death punch concert, which is something I would so desperately love to do. Because for those of you that don't know, I only listen to heavy metal, like quite literally. My favorite bands include Disturbed, Metallica, Five Finger Death Punch, Breaking Benjamin, Avenged Sevenfold, Slipknot, Linkin Park, Def Leppard, Ramstein. Shall I continue? So really these boots would be fitting for me to wear to any concert of any of my favorite bands. I adore them. But that being said, I am hoping that there's something in this box that's not black because like as much as I'm adoring every single one of these black shoes, I know I did ask for colored shoes. I know I did ask for some pink ones, some other pink ones, but I just, I hope that they sent them. <laughs> ah, I see some color. That being said, the color is red. <laughs> I will make shoe hauls to cater to the pastel population soon. But for now, please enjoy <laughs> these dangerous boots with enormous spikes. These have flames on them because they are indeed fire. There's a chain that wraps all the way around underneath. I really like the tapered heel coming down here. The spikes wrap all the way around the front. Then they loop into this O-ring here. And then around the back, we have some more blunt studs. Now I'm starting to understand why they're blunt on the back because the amount of times that I sit down, look, does anyone else sit like this? The way I always sit, when I go to sit down anywhere at any time, I get my knee and I put it like this and then I sit on, on my foot. But now I understand why they are blunt on the back. These are the Flashbacks Platform Ankle Boots. I think when a shoe is this loud, it's important to not detract from it too much by wearing crazy patterns on the top. I mean, if you want to wear crazy patterns on top and crazy patterns on your shoes, please, by all means, go for it. A new favorite phrase on this channel is, people don't have styles, they have things they like. But that being said, for me personally, because these are very, very loud on the bottom, I'd like to keep my outfit that way, keep it simple on the top and loud on the bottom. Unlike the other black shoes that are just black with no other color, which can be styled basically with anything, I personally would think uh, I couldn't really go pairing anything pink with these because I think that the pink and then the red would clash a little bit too much. So I would probably want to keep the color scheme just black, red, yellow, white. These ones are definitely a little bit harder for me to style than some of the others, but I'm very glad I have them because they're so unique. I love them. All right, we're getting to the back of the box now. We're holding out for some color. Ah, oh. I was holding out for some color and I indeed got it. We've got uh, red and blue and yellow. These are so cute. There was a lot of designs from this catalog that had flowers all over them. My inner flower child could not resist. <laughs> this name is a doozy. These are the Watch Me Black Flower Embroidered Buckle Chunky Cleated Soul Sandals. The heel on these is very unusual. It's kind of like a matte heel. It's kind of squishy too. The top is like a sort of satin looking 
faux leather. We have these double loopholes all along the buckle here. These once again have the very, very heavy tread on the bottom. These are so sweet, so innocent, look adorable with a little baby dress with flowers all over it. Once again, these were made to be worn with white socks or at least in my personal opinion. <laughs> They're delightful and I personally feel like so far out of everything that I've shown, aside from the very first pair of boots, I think these will resonate the most with the majority of my audience. Those of us that are punk on the inside but cutesy on the outside, these are the sort of shoes for people like us. Next up. Okay, these are really cute. I'm just gonna go out and say it. These are my least favorite so far. I thought I'd really like them. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the style, the quality, anything like that. It's magnificent. They feel exceptional, but they just kind of, they kind of scare me. These are the Queen of Hearts, Chunky Creeper. I just have literally no idea in the world how to style a pair of shoes like this. Are these creepers? Is that what you call them? I think, this type of sneaker is called a creeper when it's got like an enormous platform on the bottom of it. I don't know for certain though. They have spikes on the back, but they are quite spiky. So no sit, only stand. These have a very thin shoelace on them. I'd like to take this shoelace away and replace it with a pastel pink one one day. There's a very interesting scalloped kind of detail along the edge here. These are very heavy, very solid. Little pull tab on the back to help you get in and out. I guess I would just pair these with black jeans and I'd also wear something pink on the top to tie in with the pink that's on the shoe themselves. Tell me what you think guys. I mean some of you might think that this is your absolute favorite out of everything. Personally these are my least favorite probably because I'm just scared of things that I don't know how to wear properly. But if you love this style you would not be disappointed if you bought these. They're very heavy, really solid, they feel exceptionally well made. That's something that I just I love about this brand. Genuinely Lamoda makes the best nicest feeling shoes. They feel so good. They feel so expensive and they're not super expensive. They're really, really reasonably priced, especially if you get them on sale for Black Friday. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Let's get right back in here. Yes, there is still more. Oh my God. That box is holding on for dear life. <laughs> like all the people that love pastel and don't wear black that are watching this video. All right. This says black as well. Did I really pick only black shoes? <laughs> Guess so. These are so cute. So they're very unusual. As you can see, again, these have a really cool shaped heel. This is another one that from the sketches in the catalog, I was so intrigued by the shape of this heel. These are the Leap of Faith chunky shoes. I personally love shoes that have a strap around the ankle. I think it's so cute. These have three little felt love hearts on them. There's a really big, really big one at the front and then there's two little ones on the side. Any guesses as to what I'm going to say I would style this with? Look I'm sorry 98% of my wardrobe consists of pleated skirts. I'm sorry. But if you can find one that has a hint of red in the skirt that would tie in very nicely with a little hint of red on the shoes. These are perfect for Valentine's Day or a date. Next time Dan and I go on a date these shoes volunteer as tribute for me to wear on that date. They are perfect date night shoes and I love them. All right. Hey, there is one more pair right back here. Pink patent. Did I save the best till last? Maybe, I'm not sure because I don't actually remember what these are. But they are pink and they are beautiful. <laughs> Look, okay. So simple, but so very, very good. This is the icing on the cake. Guys, the icing on the black pile of vegan leather cake, the patent baby pink shoes. Well, these are without a doubt going to be my most worn shoes of 2021. The color, glorious. The style, glorious. The way they make me feel, glorious. These are the Sweet Candy Extreme Platform Heels. I love the strap around the ankle. I love the height of the heel. The platform means that they aren't too steep. They have the excellent tread at the bottom. So I could wear these for many, 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 many hours. There's a million outfits in my wardrobe that I could pair these with, but something about them makes me think of Mean Girls. And it's just, it's gotta be a Regina George outfit. It just, it just has to be. There are no exceptions. So that's it guys. That's everything. All right, Dan, I am just going to show you some shoes okay. one at a time. I want you to tell me what you think of them and what I should wear them with. Pair number one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do you like them? Yes. What, what, what should I wear them with? Oh, 
A white dress. Okay, thank you. What do you think of these? They are... Do you like them? They're cute. I don't like the base, but... I, um, you don't like the base? Okay. Yeah. What should I wear them with? Um, black stockings. Yep. That black wavy dress that you have, and okay. like a white top. I don't know, okay, like that. okay. What do you think of these? Something... No, um, do, you, do, do you like them? Oh, no, I don't. <gasps> do you like them, Auntie? Don't bite me. <laughs> do you like these? No, they're too shiny. Too shiny? And then they're not shiny down the bottom, so it's like... The, okay, so the why. Dan doesn't like these. What should I wear them with? Uh, nothing. Okay. Um, <laughs> what do you think about this? Uh, cute. You Very like goth. This? Yeah. Very goth. What do you think? Well, it's got skulls and crossbones. I did. Sorry, I didn't even notice. Oh come on, out! I literally look <laughs> inside the shoe. There are skulls and yeah. crossbones. What should I wear these with? They would look kind of good with, you know, those jeans that are like quarter, the blue jeans. Yes. That I accidentally put in the dryer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about these? Oh, I love them. You love them? Yeah. What should I wear them with? Uh, anything. Anything? Flared pants, all of it. Okay, flared pants. What do you think about these? Mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. Um, Lovely. <laughs> so you don't like the bottom? No. What should I wear these with? Uh, something super gothic. Oh, like gothic pastel, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Blacks and pinks. Okay, alright. What do you think about these? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what should I wear them with? Uh, black leather? Okay. What do you think about these? Oh, we like them now, do we, Archie? Oh, are they okay? They're Archie cute. had a fit, so what should I wear these with? Oh, sorry, do you like them? No. No, I like them. I, I really like them. You really like them? Oh, they're really pretty. Oh, okay. <laughs> what should I wear them with? It's screaming like leggings and like, I don't know, a scarf and... Okay. Like a... Just like... kind of like what you wore in Japan the first time I met you. Do you remember that? Yes! Yeah. Okay. Okay. Done. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it and if you like shoe hauls. I had so much fun filming this. Tell me which pair of shoes was your favorite. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.